In this problem, in this uh, video, we're going to look at two problems um, where we're looking at word problems with rational numbers. So here's the first situation. We've got some peanut butter. We want to know how much each person is going to get. There will be seven people, and they're going to share a third of a pound. So we've got uh, a third of a pound that's got to be divided into seven pieces. So a third of a pound of peanut butter divided by seven people will tell us how many pounds each person gets, the pounds per person. Remember that seven is a rational number itself. It's seven over one. So the problem could be written as one-third divided by seven ones. And we know how to handle division of rational numbers. We do it by changing it to a we invert and multiply. Remember that it's always the divisor that gets inverted. So now we've got one-third times one-seventh, which is, which is one-twenty-first one, uh, of a uh, pound of uh, peanut butter per person. Well, there's the answer. One-twenty-first of a pound of peanut butter per person. Here's our second word problem. In this case, Jack buys a certain number of pounds of, uh, of candy at the candy store. Jill doesn't buy as much as he does. They're not telling us how many pounds Jill buys. They're telling us what fraction of Jack's pounds Jill buys. So this becomes a multiplication problem. So here's the arithmetic problem we need to do. We need to calculate two-sevenths of five and one-third. So as always, we'll change this improper fraction to a, I mean this mixed, this mixed uh, number to an improper fraction. Because there are 15 thirds in five and we've got five and one-third, that'll be 16 thirds times two-sevenths. We look to see if there's any factoring that we can do to eliminate terms. I don't see any. That is factoring to, uh, to reduce uh, the same factor in the numerator and denominator that we could reduce. I don't see any. So we multiply numerators and multiply denominators. That's how we handle multiplication of rational numbers. So that leaves us with 32 20 ths of a pound. It would be nicer to have this in a, in a mixed number. So we'd like to know how many times 21 goes into 32 to find out how many full pounds we get and then see how much is left over. 21 goes into 32 only one time with 11 left over. So 32 20 ones is 1 and 11 20 firsts. So the answer is Jill buys one and eleven twenty-firsts of a pound.